Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to talk about quite affordable watch. Nevertheless, it is really interesting because I think it will be a huge hit from Casio. So it's a model which is named AE1500WH. There will be three versions. We've got one for the long-term test. So we will check it today and we will be also reporting some, let's say, interesting things with this watch. So let's start. So this is a completely new model and it is different from what we saw in the cheap available models from Casio. You can see that it combines uh, styling from G-Shock and ProTrack. Nevertheless, it is not included in this series. It has really low price tag and it will be available in three versions. So first of all, I would like to say that there will be three watches in different colors. There will be a gray watch with inverted display. It will be the only version which will feature the inverted display. Other two watches, this black one and also the hockey one, they have this positive display. As you can see, it's a classic styling. So I decided to pick this one for the long term test. But obviously nobody stops you from choosing the different styling in my opinion all three look really good and it's definitely worth checking them in a person Now we can turn our attention to a display and it's really huge here because the overall size diameter of this watch is 51.2 millimeters. So you can imagine that it's definitely not a watch for thin wrists. Casio calls it as a wide face and I mean, you can understand why because we have these huge digits on the dial and it will be easy to read the time. You also have the date indicator, the seconds time or alarms indicator and also the seconds counter here. Of course, all other functions will be displayed when you switch modes, we will discuss it later in the video review. But the legibility of this display even in the inverted version is really great and in my opinion that's why this watch has all the chances to become the hit. Even though this is a cheap watch, we still have a backlit illumination here. So as you can see, I press the button and we have this nice amber illumination. It's not long, but it is really fine because it's not one LED situated in one corner. There are actually several of them and they illuminate whole the display and therefore it is legible even in the dark conditions. Nevertheless, there is a small catch because here whole LCD is covered with a resin glass, not with a mineral glass like on the more expensive models like a G-Shock for example. So obviously it will be easier to damage but from the other side what you can demand from such cheap watch. We can also appreciate that overall layout is quite clean and it doesn't look cheap because we all know that sometimes Casio jumps to really extreme of the dial design and we have a lot of writings, we have various colors here here, for example, in this black color, we have really tiny red accents on both sides. We have some white colored writings on the top and on the bottom. And Casio logo is actually imprinted on the LED. So it's really cool because it looks more or less classic styled and it doesn't look cheap. So therefore, it's hard to say that this watch costs less than 50 bucks.
Now we can move on to the case of this watch and as I say it's really huge 51 millimeters is not a joke so if you have a thin wrist definitely consider whether you would like to get them. There are some other attractive models in the cheap let's say lining from Casio so maybe it's better to choose them. Moreover the thickness is 15.7 millimeters so it's really hefty man's watch is definitely not a women's watch because it would look weird and as you can see we have this uh, small cues from G-Shock styling because we have bumpers around the display and they should provide some extra protection for this large circular shape. It might look huge nevertheless the weight is really low. It is clocked at 57 grams so it's really light watch and I really doubt that it will be a pain to wear every day on your wrist. Just like on G-Shocks we have the metal case back here and water protection is fixed at 100 meters so it's a good watch for some diving or maybe swimming in river. As for design cues you can take a careful look there will be some macro shots I will include them for sure because these screws are not real so it's just a molding in the plastic it's not real screw and also here we have metallized buttons so at least they add some visual interest to whole design because as you can see it's a dark black with a black frame around display and here we have some chromed metal buttons which are easy to press. By the way there are four buttons on this watch, overall layout is classic for G-Shocks and other digital watches from Casio so I'm sure that if you had some experience with such watches you will be fine with this watch as well. This watch also features the resin band, so it's also, I would say, more or less recognizable design from G-Shock watches and from Pro Track watches as well. It's quite comfortable, but as I said, it's more for thick wrists, so definitely try it out before getting it, or maybe it will be a good idea to replace this strap with something alternative. Casio uses here the classic strap attachment mechanism as on the G-Shock watches, so it will, should be easy to replace it, for example, for the native strap. Another small sign of the cost saving is the plastic buckle, but from the other side you will be able to preserve the overall condition of this part and it won't be scratched and ugly after a few days. You might also notice the writing here, it's written 10 years battery, so this is a quartz movement obviously, so we have a digital movement with a CR2032 battery and therefore power reserve will be equal to 10 years and it's really impressive and of course it won't be difficult to replace this battery and continue using this watch after 10 years. This watch might be named as a budget offering, nevertheless it's not short on the functions, so inside you'll find a dual time, but here you don't have a wall time, so it's something you will have to sacrifice, but in my opinion it's not such a huge loss. And also here we have a stopwatch, countdown timer, also 5 alarms, 1 snooze alarm. You can also turn the hourly signal, which will be beeping every hour obviously. I like that this watch features auto calendar, so once you input the year and day, it will be automatically adjusting to the every month and you will have exact date in this or that day. Moreover, don't forget about the feature that you can switch between 12 hours and 24 hours display mode so some owners might like it because it will be more useful for them. Now we can try it on the wrist, so I will remove this foam, it's not necessary here, as you can see we still have the tag in place and overall size as I said is quite impressive but it's not huge in my opinion, so if you have a normal wrist it will be completely fine on your hand here, you can see it on my hand 
and I don't have any issues here. So you can see it's quite a reasonable sized watch on my wrist. And again, if you have some thin wrist, definitely check it out before getting it. But from the other side, the price is so low that you can find something what will solve this situation and will make it comfortable to use. Obviously, this is not a shirt friendly watch, so it will be different to hide under the sleeve. But from the other side, I can see that this styling is really timid in comparison with classic G-Shock, so it's not screaming with colors or any weird shapes. So it might be a good choice for everyday use. So what do we have in total? This watch will be sold for around 30 US dollars, which is really small price for this function set. And I know there are some drawbacks in form of, for example, this resin glass or maybe some molded in screws, but this is all what we can tolerate for such price tag in my opinion. We have a really impressive function set in this huge case. It should be quite durable. It has 100 meters water protection, it has 10 years battery and all this comes for quite a reasonable price. So in my opinion, this watch should be in every watch fan collection who would like to have something durable and yet they don't want to spend money on G-Shock. It should be already available. You can get it in Helvetia watch shop. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release here in the comment section below. If you like this video do not forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!